here at Belvoir Castle. I mean, it's a beautiful view. It's a Crusader castle. And when uh, Pope Pius uh, announced the Crusades, the Crusaders came to the Holy Land in order to hold on to what they had. They built these massive castles. Belvoir Castle was particularly well defended, had multiple stages you had to go through, and areas like this where the defender was able to shoot through an arrow or a crossbow. Obviously your first line of defense is a moat. And what they did was dig out this moat out of the mountain and then use the rock from the moat to build the castle. So it would have been quite difficult obviously to get down and then try and climb up. And while you're doing that, and in obviously your most precarious position, they had areas where you could escape out, run out, do a sortie, and then go back into the castle again. So when I say multiple stages, we've got the outer wall here, and then the inner wall here. And even in here, we have these bolt holes, which the Crusaders use right here. So once you've breached that outer wall at great cost, you've got basically a murder ground here where you've got to try and get through and you've got arrows flying left, right and center attacking you. And then you've got to try and breach the obviously much, much taller wall back in the day. And the Muslims struggled to take this. Eventually Salahuddin came clearing the Holy Land of all of the Crusaders. And, and what he did in order to breach the castle walls was he actually dug a tunnel under the mountain. You see, it's just over here. I'll walk towards it. Dug a tunnel, massive tunnel under the mountain and under the walls and shored up the tunnel with huge timber posts. And in order to do this, it took a whole bunch of manpower, but this is obviously what he had at his disposal. It's just down there where we see those prickly pear all the way down to where you can see this fence here that's running along there. That's where the tunnel entrance was. This is a uh, entering a cistern here where all the water was kept. So they were very, very well stocked and they could not get them out. They could not breach the defenses. And so what they did was build this massive tunnel and using that tunnel and, and making sure it went in far enough into the mountain, they were able to shore it up with these timbers and then light the timbers, sprint out. The tunnel wall collapsed, the wall on top of the tunnel collapsed and the castle was breached. The defenders of the castle knew their day was up. They surrendered and Saladin, or Saladin as uh, we call him in the West, gave them free passage once they'd surrendered out of the Holy Land and the castle was his.